The smudge brush allows you to smudge or blur raster content on pixel layers. Since the designer persona offers vector tools, we need to move to the pixel persona to access the raster tools. I'll tap on the designer icon in the top left to open the personas list and then choose the pixel persona. Now we can see all the raster tools on the tools panel and I can select the smudge brush tool. The smudge brush has a lot of great applications. I'm going to use it to create the sunset in my digital painting. I'll open the layers panel and select the sunset layer. If we zoom in and start smudging, you'll notice that the two colours are beginning to blend together. I can use the sliders on the left to adjust the settings. The top slider determines the width of the brush and the two sliders below are the flow and the strength. If we increase the flow, the brush effect is applied quicker. The strength setting defines the distance that the colour is carried, so a higher value will result in a longer smudge. You can also tap on the percentage to enter a specific value. By default, it will use a round light brush, but we can actually use any raster brush with the smudge brush tool, so I'll open the brushes panel and have a look at the different categories. I like the blends that can be achieved with the dry media set. I'll select the first chalk brush and increase the width to about 350. Then I'll tap on the zoom icon to fit the document to the screen. Now I can use my finger or Apple Pencil to move the colours around and blend them into each other. You'll notice as I get near the panels, they'll automatically hide themselves so that I can continue working on the document. When I finish smudging all the areas, and I release my Apple Pencil from the screen, the panels return automatically. It's worth mentioning that as this is a raster tool, it won't work on vector curves and shapes. However, they can be smudged if they're converted to pixel information. I'll go back to the designer persona and use the ellipse tool to create a vector shape and use the move tool to move it into place. Now I'll go back to the pixel persona and begin to smudge the shape. A message will appear, letting you know that Affinity has automatically converted it to a rasterized pixel layer to allow the tool to affect it. If we look back on the Layers panel, we can see this layer is now a pixel layer. So that was a quick look at the Smudge Brush tool. Thanks for watching.